Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Graphing Puzzle 2 game. Um, if you've played the Graphing Puzzle 1 game, this is very similar, and you probably don't need to watch the uh, video because really we just made a few minor tweaks and added 20 more mystery uh, pictures to figure out, or I should say plot. Okay, if you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play, teaching tools, fun and puzzle games to play and there's never any membership or sign up to re required okay let's take a look at the game and when you first start the menu this is i should say when you first start the game this is what you'll see the play button will take you to the uh, game instructions will take you to the instructions page and i'm not going to go over that since i'm going to walk through how to play the game and click that button take you back to the main menu if you click the video button it will take you to the page on MathNook that has this game, I should say this walkthrough, if you want to see that again. And then the More Games button will take you to our sister site, LOF Games, LOF standing for lots of fun games. And they also have math games and fun games to play, and there's no membership or sign-up required there either. Okay, and uh, to find this game, <coughs> excuse me, to find this game, you would go to MathNook. You look at the coordinate grid games link, and you'll see that we have various other um, coordinate grid games to play, as well as the uh, graphing puzzle one game, this game, and we've got more uh, graphing puzzles on the way also, as well as more coordinate grid games. Okay, let's go ahead and click play. Now, when you first start, you'll have the option of choosing to play on quadrant one only, as you can kind of see here in the little image, or all four quadrants. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here's the quadrant one, and you'll notice all the points that you need to plot are in quadrant one. Now, in the video, I wanted to say because of the dimensions of this game versus the dimensions of YouTube, these squares may look stretched out. Uh, believe me, they are square, and it will... Ooh, show, excuse me, that will show up when you play that they'll be square and, and not uh, stretched out like they are in this video. Um, so, one thing I'd like to say is that this plays very well on PC. You can play it on the on tablets. It, because of the size of these squares and where you need to plot, it, it can become a little bit difficult on the phone, but it is doable. Um, that said, let's go ahead and show you what quadrant four looks like. I mean, you can see all four quadrants. That said, it, the relax mode will allow you to make as many mistakes as you want, and I'll show you how that is in a minute. Whereas the challenge mode, you have you can only make three mistakes per level. So that's why I'm saying if you're going to play on something like a tablet or a phone with a smaller display, then you probably want to stick with the relax mode. And I'll show you the challenge mode real quick, and just show you there's it's very similar to the relax mode, but you can see you made. I've made zero mistakes out of three. I'm going to go ahead and make three mistakes there, and I made one, two, and three. Okay, and it says try again. So that's how you play the challenge mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and play the relax mode. Now, when you, if you notice on this menu, I've completed the first one, and I can play the second one also. Um, these are locked to me, and I can't play those until I complete the second one. When I complete the second one, I can play the third one, and so on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. And if you notice, there's three lists of points, three lines. And as you play, I'm going to go ahead and show you the second one. This is, they get a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and do plot out a complete image and show you what it's like. Um, if, if, if you want it to be a surprise, I would say to go ahead and, and watch this video, maybe the first and second list. And if you want to be surprised by what the figure is, then you can leave at that point. So it won't be a spoiler for you, but the l name of this level is Impossible, and you'll see why it's called that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and plot the first point, you know, and it, it, the way you work these, these uh, plot uh, points is that you top, top to bottom, I mean left to right, top to bottom, just like you read. So 9, 19. Let me go ahead and make a mistake first. You see the red shows up. It's telling me I've got, I don't have the right point. And it's telling me which point is wrong, uh, coordinate pair, I should say. So we got 9, 19, 
Go ahead and go there. And now it's yellow, and that means I've got the right one. And the green on the list is green. 14.9. Uh, let's go ahead and... There we go. 12.9. 9.15. Four across. Five up. And then two and seven. And now there's our first... First part of the uh, image. Now we're going to go 9, 15, which we've plotted before. 10, 13. 7, 7. 18, 7. 17 across, 5 up. And 4 across, 5, which we've done before. Now there's the second portion. Completed. These are all green, so I've done those correctly. 8 across 9. 7, 7. I know this one, I've done this enough. 18, 7. It should be up here. 12, 19. 9, 19. Last but not least, this point. And you, get, you completed all of the, uh, you plotted all the points. And you get this box here, and you can drag it so you can see your creation. And this is one of the differences between the first uh, graphing puzzle game and this version, other than the fact you have 20 images to plot in this game. Um, you get to see the full image, and it looks a lot better than in the previous game, because in the previous game, um, we left the coordinate grid up and the points on the on the image so you you still saw that but this is what we think is an improvement so anyways that's what you do uh that's what you get to see when you uh plot all the points you get to see your image and uh, you can drag the box around and when you're through you can click this to go to the main menu this button here or you can go to the uh click this to go to the next graph that you need to, uh, an image you need to plot and this one is hay frosty which kind of gives you a hint on what this image is going to be a mystery picture i should say and i didn't didn't explain this but i think it's fairly obvious you click this button will turn the sound on and off and this turns the music on and off and this will take you to the main menu so that's how you play the game um you, as, as I showed you, you've got 20 images you can plot. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at mathnook.com. I hope you have fun playing this game, and thanks for watching.